Today's video brings us back to Mayfair Mall. And with the sun in my face again for the second straight day, the second straight intro, blinded by the light. We're standing in front of Mayfair Mall. I have high expectations. We're gonna run into GameStop, probably then kick over to Best Buy in hopes of landing some great Batman. I have a couple in mind. I think it's gonna be hard to find a couple of the McFarlands, but all in all, I think we're pretty much set on, it's a McFarland Batman hunt. And the last time we were here, I saw the Dark Knight McFarland Superpowers Batman at the GameStop. If he's still here, I'm gonna pick him up even though I have him, I'll just grab him for a future giveaway. So we'll head into GameStop and then we'll probably kick across the street and go to Best Buy quick. And some elevator action going down. Also have my eye on Nightwing from Batman 66. I need to make a correction here. Whenever I point these out, I'm always talking Batman 66. I completely bypassed the new adventures of Batman. I, I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention to the top here, but you know, most of the time I'm, I'm always looking for, you know, Batman the classic TV series, Batman 66, kind of the, the same thing, kind of the render of, you know, how Robin would, Burt Ward, Dick Grayson would kind of look as Nightwing back then, but then we have the new adventures of Batman, which if I'm not mistaken, is the first animated cartoon of Batman. I, I think I think that's the fact, and Adam West and Burt Ward did the voice of, of that card first time doing the voice of that animated series. So I am I am watching for Nightwing. I think it's gonna be a costly hunt. We'll come back for him soon because I just saw that Dark Knight is still here. So we're not gonna let this chase figure sit here any longer. We're gonna pick him up. And just to change subjects, I'm always still looking for that Dark Side figure. It hasn't shown up at GameStop yet, but whenever I see Doomsday, I go, yeah, don't forget about Dark Side, but yeah, it's all about Batman. If they wouldn't have had Batman, might have went with Nightwing just because you know, it's that late 90s Nightwing. You always chance things by, by leaving them here, but you know, in the near future, we might drop a Batman here. We might pick up not only this Nightwing, but Batman 66 Nightwing. And just for the record, the only superpowers remaining is Metamorpho and Black Manta. I remember being on that Black Manta chase not too long ago. I mean, I bought several of the Wave 8. What an, what an exciting series. And we just couldn't leave uh, Batman behind. Glad we got him. I might take advantage of that Starbucks. I saw that it just opened, so yeah, I think we'll get a coffee. And the Starbucks is now open. Come on in. The line looks pretty long. I think we're gonna opt out and just just get a coffee somewhere else. But Yesterday I got in the car to go about 60 yards from GameStop to Target. The same thing, kind of in a deja vu moment from Mayfair to Best Buy. We're gonna get in the car, go through the lights here, and end up right in front of us. I don't know, maybe I should have walked. I could have just went across this crosswalk here, but I mean, you know, from, from Best Buy then I can just make a right and, you know, go to our next stop. Just kind of makes sense. It's been a couple of weeks since we were here and I want to see if there's any changes, kind of changing subjects for a second on any arcade one up, but there might be some McFarlane Batman down below. I just wanted to get a good look of the store. It just seems like forever since we uh, were up here. And I always have a hard time finding him in stores and online. The McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman TV show released September 2nd. Now, Walmart is showing that there are some stores that have him, but I'm in high hopes that I'll come across them at GameStop and maybe even Best Buy because I know they carry some of the, the multiverse figures. But it is a pretty cool. It comes with uh, a chance to win the Batman cowl. So yeah, eager to come across the Adam West. Kind of where the hunt was inspired from. And there's other figures, obviously, when we just picked up the superpowers. But I'm going to be watching for him every time we go out. It is different how Walmart, Target, Best Buy, GameStop, they're all, you know, bringing out figures different times. And this time Walmart has everybody beat. The only Batman 
multiverse and, and I'm pretty sure that that Adam West is going to be exactly the same size as this Batman we're looking at. The only one they have is in fact the original first look of the Dark Knight. And just kind of keeping tabs since we're here on the arcade one up. Pac-Man still here. No kiosk. I'm sure there's going to be a couple of cabinets on the other side. Not real big changes at this Best Buy compared to a few other ones we've been to. I see some Infinity Game Boards on the bottom. And I'm expecting a couple of cabs right here and maybe some in the front. But that's about it right now as the Best Buy revamp. Slowly kind of kicking in here. Surprise, this one's kind of kind of falling back behind a couple of the other Best Buys we've been to, but I'm expecting some big changes here really soon. And of course, what's a Batman toy hunt chase without pointing out the penguin and one of the coolest comic book covers that I've seen. Classic 70s Batman, penguin, and his big bird saying you'll soon be extinct. Just like my giant bird I'm on, so pretty cool. It's been around for a while, you know, and eventually maybe, uh, maybe we'll pick the old penguin up, but right now we're focusing on the Cape Crusader himself and maybe, uh, maybe the Boy Wonder too. Kind of dawned on me walking out of Best Buy. I kind of want to have it in the in the backdrop here. Out of all the Batman figures, all the DC figures, McFarlane's making them all. Depending on what you know, the the original cartoon, the the Batman '66, the superpowers, newer stuff, everything. Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, Christian Bale, you name it. They're making every figure, and it's crazy that you know we can, we can go to basically any store, Walmart, Target. GameStop, Best Buy, who am I leaving out here? They're gonna have one of those. They're gonna have something Batman and it's probably a McFarlane. I'm not sure who makes, you know, the the, the, the younger Batman figures. You know, we'll, we'll see some of those at, at, at Walmart, at Target. But McFarlane, for the most part, is, is making everything DC right now. At Target now and this really popped out. The colors on this Marvel t-shirt, it's only $8.99, wow. You have a new Wolverine and Deadpool. I know we're on a Batman hunt, but we can't we can't pass up nostalgia, can we? Fourteen dollars. Why is this so cheap? Is this are these kids sizes? I mean, it says extra large. Yeah, eight ninety nine. I'm kind of kind of surprised by that. That's a good T-shirt. Kind of the OG Iron Man. Okay, there is the regular Batman, and I was looking online, and you know, I kind of complained about. The, the black shadowing on the side. I mean, this is the figure. Like, there's not going to be. There's a. This. I think he's twenty nine ninety nine. It still seems a little high for him. We could. We could buy everybody up and get the condiment cane. But the other one, the fifty dollar one, a lot bigger. So. I'm have an eye on him up. I think I'm going to pick up Batman. Also, kind of a evil lanterns, Batman. And then there was this one. So I. Like what, another evil Batman, right? Like I, I wasn't interested in him. I know you could you could swap the head, but you know, I don't want the the red eyes. And you're building another figure, so I mean, there's a lot to collect here to to get everybody here who we have lockup. Also, the Joker over here. It'd be fun to get the Joker. So there's the Joker, and then there's the Scarecrow. So maybe down the road, maybe we'll get a villain. It's a tough toss-up between him and the him and the scarecrow, isn't it? One of these cases we're gonna be here. The pre-orders are done. Like you, you can't get it at GameStop. You can't get it at Target. I don't know about Walmart, but eventually, you know, you're gonna come across. I'm gonna come across the chance to pick up Dark Side, and you know, I would. I it's gonna be huge, but I mean, in comparison, I guess this would probably be like the true size of Doomsday of Dark Side. Compared to, you know, the standard seven, eight, eight inch Superman, Batman, you know, kind of matching up here. When they have Commissioner Gordon, I said to myself today, who's who's behind? See, so yeah, Earth Two Batman. So yeah, you take that size Batman or Superman compared to to Doomsday, Dark Side. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd say that's pretty uh, fair comparison size wise. I said before, like, how fun would it be to have Commissioner Gordon? But I guess, I mean, if we're collecting, if we're trying to get lockup, I guess you got to get Gordon. 
Wonder all in all, how popular the Joker Mobile is, was, how many people were actually interested in picking this up. I know it's about $69.99. Maybe, maybe people see the, the 109 or the, or the 99 kind of veers them away. But I guess it takes a real collector, like someone who really wants to have this to, to pick it up. Not only the size of it, it's huge. But, I mean, I guess you're really going to want to have the Joker Mobile. It's cool seeing it. I just don't really have any desire myself to just walk away with this. I thought of something after I stated the whole McFarlane making all the Batman. I and, and I know that, you know, on the on the you know the, the, the smaller kids type Batman, we have a Spin Masters brand, but there was some other manufacturer besides, you know, what we're looking at here that I completely forgot about. I thought about it on the way here on pretty much a retro classic Batman line. I'm surprised it's Spin Masters, the same as as that bigger toy we just saw. I thought it was somebody else, but I thought about these, you know, the Michael Keaton or the Bane. I said, oh my gosh, that's not McFarlane, is it? And actually all the Michael Keaton are gone. There's just there's just a couple of Bane left. Also this Batman, I've been seeing a lot of him lately and you can swap out his head. So it, it's always cool to see, you know, Bruce in the Batcave when he takes the, the cowl off and he's just, you know, talking to Alfred or looking at the computer with no mask on. And I guess you could kind of you know, retell that story by by getting this figure. Kind of the, the true blue and gray suit. And they do have a Batmobile here. And the, the problem is, is look at this box. Like, and I don't want to get, I mean, you can kind of see it right here. I don't want to get too nitpicky, but I mean, if we're going to spend $80, I, I want this to be flawless. I would take the Batmobile out, but, and I, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do with the box, but it just looks like it is just... Am I, am I getting this correct? It is just banged up. It, it just looks like it is caved right here. Not, uh, gosh, that would have let down. I don't think I can uh, pick this one up. There are a couple more in the area. I just, I don't want to walk away with this one. This general area, anything can show up here. And we could come across the Adam West. I mean, you know, we have Ben Affleck. Why, I'm sure, uh, I was going to say Christian Bale, another other Ben Affleck plus the the Batman we just saw at Best Buy I think that could very well anything DC multiverse could show up at Target and we're here enough if we don't come across something I, I think maybe we could find one online but it just it takes away the fun of of tracking something down who makes a Spin Master so I've never really heard of Spin Master before they're making a lot of of Batman besides McFarlane with DC. It looks like they do have one of the uh, the party wallop Turtles van remaining and some more of Captain America and Spider-Man. So these are showing up at Target right now and not a lot of them. They are $50. It, it takes, we snacked over Spider-Man. It takes the right person to pick something like this up. You gotta have the right spot for it. But I really like Captain America. And one last target to conclude our Batman Returns Part 2 toy hunt, kind of toy haul. And then we'll go over everything we picked up tonight and keep in tabs every time we've been out. There is someone we have not come across yet and hopefully he's still here. Forgot about Mr. Freeze too. That's right, you need, you need Mr. Freeze and the Scarecrows. I was, th I was thinking the, the Scarecrow, but gosh, there are a lot of villains. Kind of outnumbered, but they do have Robin. and. You know, I said I wanted to pick up Batman and Robin. We just got Batman. It kind of just takes me back to probably 93, 94 when, when the figures came out. I know Robin wasn't in the, the first season of the animated series in 92. But I had him and I had uh, Batman. Yeah, it's just, there's just something about that. Kind of going back with the whole Power Rangers. Just kind of collecting everything from 94 right now set Robin down for a second. It kind of makes me want to collect everybody to get to get Condiment Kane. I think we need well, we just need two more. We just need the villains. Maybe the hunt continues on the animated series. Gosh, 30 bucks a piece. It's it gets pricey, I suppose. You know, you buy enough, you get you get an extra figure. Do they have Michael Keaton all Bane? Look at this. All Bane left. You should have made more uh Keaton. Surprised to still see the uh, Target Optimus Prime. I thought maybe we'd see Bane and and Batman. 
the multiverse. These have been hanging around for a while. But unfortunately, those sold out. That was a that was a popular one. They have more of these here too. You have a Doomsday in the back, but one Captain America and one Spider-Man. Pretty much every target we've gone to has had one of each. These were the ones I was thinking of, and believe it or not, it's Spin Master. So it's Spin Master and McFarlane. Very, very interesting. You know, I never noticed that before. I never really took the time to just say, who makes this toy line? At least it keeps the hunt going, and there's more multiverse to find. We're getting, we gotta find Adam West, at least one of them. And you know, I'll have to come back and get the Scarecrow and get Mr. Freeze to put together a condiment cane here. I just set Robin down off to the side. I think he was the last one. Better late than never. I, if he would have been gone, I don't know who else had one, but that would have been, could have been challenging finding, find another Dick Grayson. Just popped around the corner before we wrap this video up. They do have a new Turtles, the pizza thrower here. We have Leonardo on the top. I wonder if it, I know that one vehicle came with Donatello looks like there's there's no figures that come I mean talk about you know going back in time again I mean we're just saying buying up everything from 94 I mean 1990 91 getting all the original turtles again motorized pizza fire action wonder if we'll get the blimp oh check it out they have Sportsmaster you know I never heard of Sportsmaster until watching Young Justice and it's cool I mean everybody that we see eventually makes their way on these uh, multiverse. And they're everywhere at Target, that's the thing is, you, know, you expect it over here, it could be by the collectibles, or it could just be right out in the front. That's gonna do it for today. Well, we were blinded by the light when we started, blinded by the light, finishing up. We got Robin, we got Batman. Stick around for a bonus scene. I'll show everything we got for the big toy haul on our Batman toy hunt. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And the toy hunt never ends. We'll always keep going. There's always going to be more stuff we can find. Until next time. Our first stop, of course, we got the Dark Knight, which we already had the Dark Knight superpowers. It's hard for me to pass on these. So probably just a future giveaway. I just couldn't let him sit there. We gave him a good week, week and a half. Nobody picked him up, Loki. So we picked him up and someone will get Batman. You know, in the next uh, couple of weeks, we are doing our, our 4K giveaway weekly and you know, this might be on deck. Second, we picked up Batman from the animated series and you know, I think getting the condiment cane, getting the villains, getting Mr. Freeze, getting the Scarecrow, I think in the, in the next couple of weeks, we should definitely do that and just, why not, you know? You only live once. It's great to have Batman the Animated Series back again. And then of course we got Robin. So we're halfway there. Wasn't really my plan on getting the Condiment King, but having Batman and Robin again, you know, probably, gosh, 20 years, 30 years later. We have Robin, we have Batman. And we have another Batman, and, and you know the ironic thing is, is it's all McFarlane's. But there is one other thing we got. We couldn't pass on it. Now it's not the one with the beat up box, but we bought it when we got Batman. Because we can't, we can't have the Batmobile without, without the Dark Knight, right? I couldn't pass it up. And, I, and the thing is, the reason I wanted to do this in here, we do have Mr. West just kind of hanging out on the couch over here. He wants to say hello to everybody. West, we had a, I'd say a pretty successful Batman toy hunt. You look like you've had a pretty successful day. Now, Loki, if you remember when the coffee machine went on us and we had our, our target points, I did go with this coffee maker and it's it's a it's a two-in-one we have the Keurig option over here and then and then of course our our 12 cup coffee pot and you know I you know everyone who knows me knows I love my coffee and I said this is my Batmobile 
Well, I mean, I, I just could not get it out of my head and I, I fought this for weeks on, on top of weeks and wanted to go with the Batmobile. I mean, he is, I mean, just look at how small the superpowers is compared. I mean, this is a huge, you know, you saw it. I had it in the cart. I didn't want to carry this around. It, it's hard, you know, having the camera in my hand. I did pick up Batman at the same time. That other box was just so dented up. I mean, look at how big this is going to be. The only thing bigger would be like the, the Thunder Tank. And this is huge. Can't wait to break this open. Probably get the villains. And then, yeah, we'll put together the Conduit King. But here's our, here's our roundup for our Batman toy haul, toy hunt. The Batman Returns. Not really... Part one wasn't really kind of lackluster. We went nuts. I think we did good.